Welcome back, everybody. So many of us are looking for ways to connect with people who don't look like us. But finding these groups and starting the conversation does take some coordination. A local group is providing a great resource to help. 90 Forward created these race cards. Each card has a conversation starter about race, and they are meant to be discussed with an open heart and a diverse group of people. So 90 Forward's President Dr. Kimberly Allen and Vice President Tracy Tussaud joining us via Zoom this morning. Um, excited to talk to you both. I mean, I, I actually was able to go through these race cards probably about a year ago. So impressed by the questions that are there. Dr. Allen, I want to first pose this question to you. 90 Forward was created three years ago. What was ultimately the goal of this organization? Um, ultimately, what we wanted to do was um, share our safe space with the public. Uh, we were hurting as friends, as colleagues, and we wanted to have a vulnerable conversation, and we did. Uh, but we knew ultimately that uh, others needed to be having this same conversation as well. And the race cards then were created, and this was a lot of collaboration. You know, you <laughs> consulted sociologists, you talked to historians to come up with these questions. Can you talk more about that process? Absolutely. Um, it really it, it initially started as a list of just questions that we all had. And then we, you know, we would float them around. There was, uh, you know, a number of iterations, a number of questions that didn't make the, the cut. Some new questions came up and then we wanted to leave some open for folks who had questions that uh, that we might not have even thought of. Right. And let's take a look at a couple of the cards. I asked for ones that really kind of spark that those first conversations that people can kind of get comfortable with to, until you dive mm -hmm. really deep. So here's one <clears throat> said, how did you first become aware of racism? And this resonated with me personally because I can remember and I can remember her full name. I'll just say her first. It was Sharon. And I remember being in elementary school and she looked at me and she called me the N word. And I went and told the teacher and she looked at me and said, what do you want me to do about it? And I can imagine, depending on who is telling their side of this story, that conversation looks very different. Absolutely, absolutely. And honestly, that's the one of the key things that we want to be able to do is uh, have those deeper conversations. Where did that come from? How did you learn that? Um, so that we can learn together and build trust and relationships and ultimately um, come up with some, uh, some action steps and some solutions so that history doesn't repeat itself. Yeah, and Tracy, I want to bring you into the conversation because we talked yesterday and, you know, there there's some rules that you want to abide by if you really want to get the full impact of these cards. Yeah, absolutely. So the goal of the race cards is um, learning and building relationships. And so that really only happens if you start by building a diverse group of participants, not just a group of folks who are going to reinforce what you already think and believe. Um, you have to come into the conversation ready to listen and be prepared to hear something that may surprise you or make you feel uncomfortable and be ready to hold space for that. Um, I think that's especially important for um, the white people who participate in the conversations because we're used to our perspective being the predominant one. Um, and I think if we're going to have healing and justice, we're going to have to start to flip that on its head um, more often. Um, and then the, I think the last is that we always send folks out um, from away from the conversation to say, okay, now, so what are you going to do differently um, as a result of your conversation that will make tomorrow's reality different than today's? Yeah, and the race cards are available, but I, I mean, this is something that you can create a space in any environment via Zoom, in your neighborhood. And here's another one that I think resonates with a lot of folks right now. Did your parents talk with you about dealing with the police based on your race? And will you have that conversation with your children? I have, again, I have a seven-year-old who will be eight going into third grade, and this is something that we're going to have to talk about this summer. You know, I also hear, you know, from folks that they're a little timid and scared because they don't want to offend, especially someone of color. How, how can everyone kind of go into this not taking offense to somebody else's pure opinion? So usually when we have that conversation, when we start the conversations, we usually say um, we are not um, looking to change anyone's minds. We're not looking to change uh, anyone's political views or anything. This is really a starting point. Um, there are a series of things that are going to happen along the journey. And being able to be honest and vulnerable in a space where you feel safe is very important if ultimately the goal um, is to end racism, which is our uh, ultimate goal. 
goal. And so um, creating that space where people feel like it's okay, this is a learning opportunity um, and everybody's not in the same place uh, on this journey. Yeah, and, and you know, and I have to say, you kind of know your your circle and your people, so you know who you can <laughs> trust and who you can go to. But I, I just encourage us all to open up our hearts and have these hard conversations, understanding that we all come from different backgrounds, we're all different, but to listen more and to talk less. Thank you, ladies, so much for this opportunity to share this information. And there's also a virtual meeting that's on the schedule for Thursday, June the 18th. It's at 5 p.m. It's free. You can register online at 904work.com. A couple things you guys are working on now is creating more of these cards and also getting an app out there so that people can do this via their phones or on their computers. So again, go to 904work.com for more information.